lot of things to talk about. The first one is an uh, introduction of a new hero, or a hero class, our first hero class, called Death Knight. One of the motivations for picking the Death Knight and having it be kind of a combination tanking damage dealing is it's oftentimes the person that you actually need in a group as a tank. So we want to increase the number of actual tanks that are available to, to perform that role. With regard to damage dealing, we don't want to have a class that just has one specific role and it doesn't really make sense to have a healer slash tank uh, quite yet. The big announcement for PvP is um, the introduction of destructible buildings and siege weapons. And so the idea here is that you'll be able to build and actually uh, control siege weapons to destroy buildings, to take objectives, and be successful in PvP. We're also introducing a, an actual zone that is entirely dedicated to PvP, so players can pop over to that zone whenever they want to PvP, engage in an ongoing battle, and then go on with whatever it is that they want to do next. The thing I'm most excited about is the new profession, which is inscription. Inscription is sort of like enchanting for your abilities. Um, so, you know, you may be able to buy a special item from an inscriptor that is, if you're a rogue, secrets of backstabbing. And you use that item and that gives you a plus one percent chance to crit. Or maybe you have some kind of book of arcane knowledge that you learn and then your arcane missile spell as a mage becomes more powerful. Northrend is actually going to be larger than Outland uh, by, I want to say, about 20%. Another kind of neat point about Northrend is there's going to be two points of entry. You'll have a choice of entering to Borean Tundra or Howling Fjord, and it'll be a different play experience for both. Absolutely, we're going to add new mounts. Doing your questing at low levels is obviously is very much a kind of a ground experience. It's a lot easier for us to tune for, a lot easier for us to balance. So you won't be able to use your flying mount at level 70, uh, but we'll have some mechanism for you to unlock your flying mount before, uh, before you hit level 80. One another kind of lesson from Burning Crusade is Illidan is the big high-end boss for Burning Crusade, but you really don't see him till the very end. Um, Arthas is going to be with you and fighting against you from the very beginning, and so when he actually comes around and he actually it is time to fight him at the very at the, kind of the, the heart of his power, you've you've encountered him and thwarted a lot of his plans up to that point. We definitely have ideas for future hero classes, but uh, that'll have to wait for a future future time.